Hey guys, Chef John here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to make an easy, quick and easy chicken pot pie. We've got a few ingredients. We've got some ready-made stuff that's going to make it easy for us. We've got some frozen pie crusts. We've got some refrigerated pie crusts. We've got some cream of chicken soup. This is one can. It's a 26 ounce can. I've got one can of mixed vegetables. This is a 15 ounce can. I've got two cups of rotisserie chicken. Uh, you can buy it at your supermarket. It's the rotisserie chicken. Uh, just peel it, chop it, two cups. We've got chives, parsley, salt, pepper, and an egg. The egg is gonna be for the egg wash on top of the pie, and that's what gives it its uh, nice crust. One of the first things you wanna do is you wanna let your pie crust uh, thaw out. Uh, these are the deep dish pie crusts. Let it thaw out. If there's any cracks in the bottom of the pie crust, you can uh, press them back together with your uh, fingers. And you're going to take a, a fork and you're going to poke it all along the bottom of the pie. Now what that's going to do is it's going to allow the steam to escape when you are when you pre-bake your pie. You might have heard my timer go off. Well, the timer is for the other pie crust that is already in the oven, and we've already done this step. Uh, that takes about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna put this other one in there. And through the magic of TV, we've got a pie crust. Now if you see that, it's got those little holes on it and that was able to allow that steam to escape um, while the pie crust uh, par baked. Now let's make the filling. We've got our cream of chicken soup, this guy right here. We've got our chicken, two cups. We'll give that a mix. We've got our canned vegetables, again, 15 ounces, and this was drained, so I removed all the liquid. We wanna season that with a pinch or two of salt. Let's do two pinches. We'll do some black pepper. You could do crushed red pepper or any of that. The choice is yours. This is flat leaf Italian parsley and I chopped it up. And we're gonna go with maybe, maybe a tablespoon and a half. And then I've got some chives, same thing, uh, chopped up. And we'll do, oh, depending on how much you like, we'll see how uh, that two tablespoons does. We'll mix that up. Mix it well, so you wanna really incorporate those flavors. And as it's cooking, the herbs will release their flavor into the dish as well. Oh, that looks tasty. Now we'll take this and we'll start to fill our pie crust. You don't want to pack it too high above the top of this crust um, because then it'll just ooze out and it'll make a mess, okay? This should be enough for us to make two pot pies. All right, I like the way that looks. Now we'll take our refrigerated pie crust and cover the top of that. I like to start with one side. I'll set it on there and just kind of roll it out gently. Now you can get real fancy with the edge of your pie crust. Um, I'm just gonna do a simple one and then we'll just trim it. Thank you. 
You can use this uh, leftover pie crust to make little uh, decorations, little leaves and stuff like that. Make a real pretty pie uh, if you have the time, if you want to do that. Uh, the next important step is going to be to cut some slits in the pie top to allow steam to escape while it's cooking. I like to just do it kind of in quarters first. It's easy to see. It looks nice. And then we'll go one more. Now you certainly can bake it at this point. It's gonna bake for 25 to 35 minutes. All of your ingredients in there are already cooked. So you're really just cooking the pie crust through and getting a beautiful golden brown color. Uh, but one of the steps that I like to, to do uh, to finish it, to give it a more professional look, is to give it a egg wash. And we'll take one egg and we'll mix that up, yolk and whites. We'll mix that up. And then we'll do an egg wash on the top of this pie. I'll add a little more salt and pepper and then some of those herbs and it'll have a really uh, nice finished quality to it. I've got a brush here. I've got a brush here. And we're gonna brush that on the pie crust. And it's okay to go a little bit heavy with this. It's gonna give it the gloss, the glaze, the, the pretty, pretty uh, finish that you're looking for in a, in a pie. And what I like about this recipe is it's easy enough to do during the week. You know, you can also uh, make it to the point where you have the crust on top, wrap it and freeze it, and then you can uh, pull it out at a later time and bake it. Okay, so we've got our egg wash on. We're gonna take some salt. We're gonna take a little bit of that pepper. We'll take that uh, parsley. And some of those chives. And there you, there you have it guys. This pie is gonna go into the oven for 25 to 35 minutes. You're looking for a golden brown crispy crust and 165 degree internal temperature. We'll set that timer for 25 minutes and I'll see you, we'll check on the pie. All right guys, so we pre-baked our second crust. Um, we've had the chicken pot pie in the oven for about 45 minutes now. Um, I think the timer's about to go off and we'll, uh, we'll take a look. We'll take a look and see how the pie's looking. Oh man, that's beautiful. So if you can see the, the color of the crust, that's coming from the egg wash. See how this one is just kind of dull? and it doesn't have that gloss, that shine. Um, that's what the egg wash does for you. It gets you that nice uh, golden brown color. So again, let me show you what we did. We mixed together two cups of chicken. I used rotisserie chicken. You can use canned chicken. You can use turkey, pork, beef. Um, two additional cups of vegetables if you wanted to do that, that's fine. We did 15 ounces of uh, mixed vegetables in a can and uh, 26 ounces of our cream of chicken soup. Salt, pepper, Italian parsley, and chives. Frozen pie crust, deep dish, par bake them, and then you can fill it with your mixture.
right? And then we take the refrigerated pie crust and we place it on top. Roll it out. Now, at this point, you can wrap it with plastic wrap and store it in your freezer for another date if you don't need two pies at once. Um, you should probably be able to get uh, six to eight servings out of that. Unless you have teenagers, it's probably uh, four uh, servings. But we're going to take our pie crust, remove the excess, Again, you can use this to make some nice little leaves or, or decorations for your pie crust. Press this down against the edge really nicely. And then we'll make our slits for our pie crust. This uh, slit helps the steam to escape while it's cooking. So that way your pie doesn't explode on you. Then we'll do our egg wash. One egg just mixed up with a brush. It's okay. Use kind of what might seem like a lot. Again, that's gonna give you that gloss. It's gonna give you the shine. It's gonna give you that beautiful finished, uh, prize winning pie crust uh, look, right? Award winning. All right. And then again, we'll season that crust a little salt, a little black pepper. Give it some flavor, right? Some Italian parsley. And some chives. All right, guys, this can go into the oven for 35, 45 minutes. And let me show you that finished pie. There you go, guys. Chicken pot pie. Quick and easy. Again, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe, give me a like, send me a comment, um, ask questions. It's okay. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.